I remember when I started doing this many years ago, that if you ask the person who lived in the city or who lived in the suburb, where do you see people who are homeless? <laughs> they would tell me, I see them on the edge of the freeway, that now the same people who tell you they only saw them near freeways are telling you they're a block away from my house. So in the last two years, this problem has gotten a lot worse. There are families who are doubled up with friends and relatives. They live in their cars for a period of time. When I see a young teen in the street, it's like, wow. I know something happened to them. That's why they're out here. I felt like I had to do something. There are so many people sleeping in tents and shanties and cars. I mean, the number of people who are living in those makeshift arrangements just in the last three or four years has tripled and quadrupled. You don't know how many times in the span of my day, people have come up to me and say, can I have your card? And I'll say, are you homeless? And they say, not yet, but in about three months I will. One night, I was coming from a party. Night made a wrong turn. I was in shock. How could this city that has so much wealth have an area that's hidden that has so many homeless people? I felt like I had to do something. What we do is we identify individuals who are the most vulnerable living on the streets and we get them off the streets and into housing. So once we house them, we become their advocates. We become a part of their life. It's clear to voters and they want something done. Yes! We must do this. We will do this. The expectations have been raised. We know it can be done because we've seen it with our own eyes. We all need help. I'm on their team. I'm an advocate for them.